This is a video for proaudiostash.co.uk. Leon here is going to show us how you professionally build a guitar lead using Nutric jacks. So take it away, Leon. All right, first off, we're going to take a standard guitar lead, six meter that's already been wrapped out. I'm going to take a sharp pair of cutters and strip the ends. Take myself two MP2X Bs, which is a standard black and gold neutral connector. Now the packs. First off, most importantly, put the barrels on because you will not get them on if you don't do that first. Take your heat shrinks if you have them. Make sure they're both the same length. How do you get the heat shrinks to wrap? What do you use to, to get them to grip? Uh, we use a heat gun. Can you use anything at home that you wouldn't if you didn't have a heat gun? You can use a lighter, but it does leave like a black burn, not so much a burn mark, but a black mark. Hair dryer? From the gas. Hair dryer you can, but you'll be there all day. It'll take you a while. The best, really, the best thing, you know, is, is a heat gun. It's a, a lot more. The best thing is just to get it straight yeah. from us rather than do it yourself. Just remember not to use a heat gun as a hair dryer. Then we need to strip the jackets off on the inner core to get into the conductive plastic inside, which is your hop. Just like that. Cool, okay. You want to strip the clear jacket from it as well, the conductive plastic. And tin your earth. Cool. Try and come over your shoulders just to show that a bit better. Best way to do it on a nitric jack. Then you tin your jack, get a nice bit of solder on there. dry joints so I'm going to make sure your pools of solder move put your IF on first and then you put your hot to your middle core. Same again for the other side. Plenty of solder. And nice and neat, making sure none of the solders join. Otherwise you'll be earthing out your plug. You're using gold, nutric gold connectors. Yeah. Are they better? What's the difference between them? And um, no, not a lot to be honest. Uh, they just, you know, they look a lot more professional. And they're very good connectors. All nutric connectors are good anyway, so it doesn't really matter what you use. As long as, long as it's nutric. Yeah. These are your clamps. These are to go on next. Next you want to get your heat shrink, a heat shrink up to the clamp, a 
about five or ten mil just away. Move the iron back a bit. Take your heat gun. Slip your arm up slowly. Right. Yeah. You have to wait for that to cool down a little bit. Yeah. If you try sliding your barrels over it, it'll just peel the heat shrink back. Or it's still a bit tacky. So almost there. We're almost there. I'm gonna put the barrels on last thing. Don't want them to peel back, otherwise we'll have to get the out of them in this head. Clamps butted up to the jack. Slide your barrel over, bring your barrel down, or your boot down, sorry, to your barrel. And screw them up. And that is how you make a professional six metre guitar. Lead. Job done. Other than we test it. Standard tester, mono inputs, being that it's a guitar instrument lead. There you go, tested. Job done. No Thank you very much. Fine. Guitar lead done. Thank you, Leon.